Hi guys! It's another beautiful day once again and you are here back at Dexter's World Channel. I'm so thankful because we just arrived from a long trip and thank God because our trip was so amazing to see beautiful places in other provinces and it's my time now to make an update about our breeding of goldfish here in our place. As you will see down here, you will see breeders of red white rancho. We already made a video on how to breed this one. We made a video presentation on the actual breeding of this red white rancho and today we are going to make an update about their babies yes you heard it right we have three months old babies and we already have segregated at least 50 small babies of this red white rancho and this gonna be added to our breeders well i'm so excited because this uh, fish had been segregated from the rest and these are the potential breeders that we have just selected come on let's go to the tank where we place the babies of this red white rancho we will get some water out of this tank because this water is clearer compared to the tank outdoor I mean this tank where we can get now those babies of this red white branch I unplug it because it's very noisy so we will now catch the babies of this fantastic goldfish these are just barely three months old you will see that the color is very perfect. You look at this bronze one, it will change color and that is a red white rancho. These are the good qualities. The inferior quality are placed in a separate tank. Come on, maybe we'll change our net. I don't want this net, we'll change another net. Wow, you're here, plenty of them. All here. This one like that. Just like that. Well, how many? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. And you will see now that this tank contains algae. But this algae is not harmful because we have this submersible pump and this filtration box. And this bucket is helping us a lot. This three months old red white rancho have perfect body, perfect health, raised in just very small tank. Looks like the mother, you see this one? I really love this color because this color is really the color of the female, the mother. You will see this one? Wow. So still many have asked Dexter how to care for our goldfish. I always made mention about the sunlight. If you can expose it to the sunlight, it's much better. Or if we don't have a place where sunlight is available, then of course you can do the heater. But the best thing when we grow our goldfish is to expose them to sunlight. this is my selection of the red white rancho and there are hundreds of them that were already disposed many people just come here and buy our fish and there are peddlers so they are buying all the fish that is available that's why I have decided to just select the good quality for our future breeders and you will see that there are red white there are orange there are some that has bronze color and this will change 
their color from this bronze to the orange one and I am very happy to breed ornamental fish because it gives me life it gives me some inspiration as a breeder if you will see your produce then of course you will be inspired to do more so I will get this fish and they will transfer this to this tank and mix this with the bigger ones because I'm going to use this for our koi I will place this smaller ones together with their parents and uh, I believe so that they can be accommodated here in the small tank because this is too shallow and I am going to release them we will count them how many it's three five I see that eight Forty-one. They still have dozens. This one is looks like really his mother. You look at this one. I will let you see this carbon copy of the mother. You will see that. Look at the body. You look at the color pattern. Of course, the red on his tail will develop soon if he gets matured. You look at this one. <laughs> That's amazing. If you can produce babies out of these tiny creatures, it's very fulfilling, you know. So all in all, we have gathered 40, but there are still dozens that are left behind in that big tank. So maybe we can remove this one. They are already plenty. Wow, with their babies, they're enjoying very much. Hello, can I get you? Yes, this is the father of that and if you will ask how to breed this one of course we already have many videos on how to breed the actual breeding the actual spawning and we also gave some tips techniques on how to propagate this kind of fish it's very easy and we also may mention about the water preparation the conditioning of the water the plants we need and the time that they're going to spawn their eggs but I have a problem I'd like to tell you honestly guys that I have a problem and what is that problem I caught an owl you know that bird has big eyes the owl is the queer birds the common uh, poem of the the toddlers I have caught one hovering last night and I don't know what I'm going to do with this one. Maybe I will surrender this to the Department of Environment and Natural Resources because this owl had been the predator of our fish. I am so amazed why our breeder goldfish is no longer complete in number, meaning they're being lessened from time to time from 12, their number will be reduced to 10. So I was investigating actually if what's the reason and one of the reasons that I believe is this owl I will show this to you guys hi owl you see that owl hello you're so alert you have eaten all my breeder fish hello owl I don't know what I'm going to do with this bird if I will release that she will eat all my breeder I will get inside hello I can touch you Oh, can I touch you? You eat all my fish. Oh, he ate all my fish. No, not all, but some of my fish. I think he is tame. Come on. Wow, can I touch you? Wow. A few minutes later. So, guys, this is the owl that is the suspect of eating our breeder goldfish. 
Well, this is a nocturnal bird. I don't know so much about owls, but what I learned about them is they are nocturnal birds. I just caught this one last night hovering in our area and I believe so that this is the predator of our fish. I have more than 50 breeders and now they are their number reduced to around 40 so I lost 10 breeders and this is the culprit this is the suspect so I caught him I don't know if we can keep this one because this bird belongs to the endangered species very fat it can can touch you look at the wings wow this this owl is really very active and I would like to keep him inside this cage wow you look at that you look at the eyes oh you look at this eyes he is faking he's very strong faking to not moving and any moment he can just lose from my grip because it's very strong now we will keep this owl inside in this cage we will see if we can get a permit or maybe we can ask the authorities if we can keep this one but in i believe that uh, this is not an ordinary bird so we cannot just keep this unless we have a special permit so i will release this bird here Okay. So that's the update that we can share with you guys. I hope you will continue to like and share our videos. And if you haven't yet subscribed, please do subscribe and hit that notification bell so that you will be notified of our upcoming videos. And I would like to ask you to please make a comment in the comment section how do we gonna dispose this bird shall we keep it or shall we release it back or maybe we can donate this to the aviary where they have permit so that's the thing that I'm thinking about and can you make more suggestions if you want please do it and thank you for watching only here at Dexter's World